The government plans to impose new regulations in Boracay ahead of its official reopening next week. And in line with this, the private sector is pushing for citizens' arrest against litterbugs. Jess De Los Santos has the report. Shortly after the dry run festivities where tourists were welcomed in Boracay, trash were spotted littered in some areas of the beachfront. Pakita naman natin sa mundo that we can we closed Boracay for six months to clean it up. Nakakahiya naman na tayo pang mga Pilipino ang nahuling nagdudumi ulit. Because of this, the Department of Environment and Natural Resources met with compliant associations of Boracay on Tuesday to discuss the issue. During the meeting, the hotels requested that they conduct citizens' arrest to tourists found littering on the island. They have a proposal uh, to the uh, DNR to deputize them as uh, environmental uh, marshals. Ito po yung uh, magsisilbing uh, frontliner natin. At the same time, the Boracay Interagency Task Force will strictly enforce new regulations. For one, tourists must have prior bookings before they are allowed to enter the island. The 25 plus 5 easement zone will be strictly enforced, which means there should be no structures such as massage beds, tables, beach chairs, and souvenir shops. Activities and events such as fire dancing and beach weddings will also be banned within the zone. When you say nakikita natin ngayon yung school road, no, no wedding, no table, hindi naman, everything is the same. It's just umatras ka lang. So there's still tables and chairs, it's just inside. Everyone who wants to hold a wedding has to do it outside of the 25 plus 5 area. Even sandcastle making, particularly those using chemicals to construct one, will be prohibited. Water sports are also suspended while the DENR finds an area that will not affect swimming and marine biodiversity. And a one-month closure every year is also being pushed. But hotel managers are looking to appeal the ban on Le Boracay and other big parties. Eventually, sana po, they can give us some sort of leeway to apply these parties with certain um, parameters na po. While DENR says it is considering one area of Bolabog Beach to hold big parties, the DOT notes that from being a party place, they want Boracay to now become a family-oriented tourist destination. We want to encourage families. I want Boracay to be a model for sustainable tourism. This is pure white powder sand, hindi abo ng sigarilyo. This is the beauty of Boracay, not parties. This means no casinos will be built and existing casinos will be removed. We want to encourage families. Kaya very strict si Presidente, no casinos and gambling in Boracay. Even yung existing, tanggal na. Because he believes that kung saan pumupunta ang pamilya, hindi bagay kung saan pumupunta yung nagkakasino. As of now, the DOT has one advice to the public. Manage your expectations. Maganda ang harap, malinis ang kapaligiran, malinis ang tubig. Pero siyempre, the island is still undergoing rehabilitation. Pero kaya kami pumayag na bumukas dahil marami namang establishments na compliant with environmental laws. Kailangan rin naman ng nila ng livelihood. Jess De Los Santos, We Are One News.